Can you have like all of those pulled up? Huh? Okay. Welcome to Mission Control at Bell Middle School in Golden, where these STEM 8th grade science students are teaming up on an out-of-this-world adventure. And liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket and dragon. If all goes according to plan, these students will make space science history by flying their very own experiment into orbit. The payload? Worms. Red Wriggler Worms, to be precise. Preparations for this flight of the Wormonauts are non-stop. They're keeping their creepy, crawly space travelers moist under a piece of burlap, testing different soils to see what environments they might like best. The Wormonauts will fly aboard a SpaceX Dragon supply ship for a trip to the International Space Station next April. These young researchers are getting help and guidance from 8th grade STEM science teacher Shana Atzmiller, who explained the flight of the Wormonauts is all about sustainability. There's an interesting thing about waste disposal here on Earth and on the International Space Station. They actually um, send down all of their waste back down to Earth and we then put them in our landfills. So we're trying to see if we can compost in space to alleviate um, the waste resources that are being sent back down into our landfills. Composting in space could be key to making long-term space trips a reality, with worms helping to fertilize crops of space-grown fruits and vegetables. The students have lots to puzzle through before next spring's flight. How water reacts in a microgravity environment, whether worms will even be able to do composting in zero-g. And then there's the question of the worms surviving the tremendous vibrations that will accompany liftoff. But they think they've got that part of the mission figured out by putting the wormonauts inside a special container, almost in a state of suspended animation. Having the worms in cold stove, so they'll be in cold storage. Um, and our hopes is that they go dormant and that we have enough um, vibration um, insulators to help with um, that vibration. This is an extremely rare opportunity for any school to get NASA to fly a student experiment aboard the space station. And it wouldn't have happened without the Center for Advancement of Science in Space, or CASIS. They held a national design challenge, and the proposal from Bell Middle School won. Oh, I think it's amazing. That's Jesse Swift, another key leader of the flight of the Wormonauts. He teaches STEM engineering at Bell. He says it's been a powerful thing to see how this project has fired up the kids to work together on all the many components, from container design to flight patches. I think it's really putting the learning in their hands, and they really are taking ownership of this project. It's not our project, it's a kid's project, and I'm really seeing the students uh, take control of it. Chance Grotewall is one of the students. He's part of the communications team attached to the flight. Personally, I think it's just pretty cool. I mean, like, you know, uh, space has always been pretty fascinating to me. It's like, uh, even though the world seems so big, there's still something infinitely larger out there, you know? And so um, I just figure it's pretty cool to be able to do this and have this opportunity to expand my learning. Next spring's launch will be broadcast on Google Hangout. And if they can find a way, some of these Flight of the Wormonauts team members plan to be there to see it in person. Second stage engine. And that ignition confirmed. The ignition confirmed.